Hi guys, it's David at Humble Trekker Channel. How are you doing today? Going to be going through that most vital of survival skills today, making coffee. But to make it a little bit more interesting, I'm going to be showing you how to make it the traditional Swedish way. For traditional Swedish coffee, you need a coarse ground coffee bean. So you need it on the coarsest setting on your coffee grinder, often called steep coarseness for steeping coffee. The traditional Swedish way of cooking coffee is basically analogous, as far as I understand it, with your, your traditional camp coffee in other parts of the world, your cowboy coffee. You take fresh cold water to start with. You put in your coffee and it should float on top of the cold water. For this amount of water, this is all according to your taste, I take two and a half, three spoonfuls to get a nice cup of coffee without a quantity of water. To fully enjoy your genuine cup of Swedish coffee, you need to light your genuine Swedish changer with some genuine Swedish matches. It's important to not let the coffee boil. You place it on and you bring it up to a simmer and then depending on taste, you let it simmer from around five minutes and upwards. The other ways you've got to make coffee and probably do more frequently in your kitchen at home is filter coffee where the water goes through a coffee through a filter and you, it takes the taste of the coffee out that way or with pressure where you force the water through. This type of cooking of the coffee was uh, very traditional in Sweden. It's not an outdoors methodology of making coffee by any shape or form whatsoever. It's actually a traditional way of making coffee in the house. But uh, it gives you a good handy way of making coffee out in the great outdoors. You don't need a strong heat source because you're not actually going to bring it to a roll and boil. It's just going to simmer and then you can actually leave that coffee sitting on your heat source for a long amount of time. It just absorbs more and more of the great coffee taste. Coffee I'm drinking today is the Coffee Man brand, Humble Trekker's very own coffee, the Pioneer blend, a dark roast, perfected for the outdoors man to give you the taste you need when you're in the great outdoors. I've teamed up with a local coffee roastery and together with him we've developed what I think is a flavour, a taste, a quality, which is perfect for the outdoors man. It's available on my website, humbletrekker.co.uk. It's reasonably priced for a premium coffee. It comes packaged, silver foiling, maintains the quality of the uh, coffee wherever it is I ship all around the world. It's got the valve in it to keep it fresh. It's resealable, so that's great if you just want to take a little bit out when you're camping. And then when you've used all the coffee up, you actually get a pretty strong bag that you can use for collecting tinder and such like. So what you get after a bit of simmer in there is beautiful coffee mixture there. With all the coffee grounds are actually lying on the top of the water. Now, there's a little trick to get those coffee grinds down to the bottom. And that is you take fresh cold water and you pour in a little bit. Actually a little bit more. And theoretically what that's supposed to do is that makes all those floating coffee grinds go down to the bottom. And to be honest, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. And that's it, your coffee's ready to go. A simple, traditional method of coffee brewing, which works very well in the great outdoors. You don't need any special equipment for making this type of coffee, any saucepan, a bush pot, even a cof traditional coffee jug you'll be, able to, you'll be able to make it in. I just made it in that small bush pot because I was just doing it for one man. If you've got a big group here, you can make it in a very big saucepan. No problem whatsoever. Thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this video. If you're a subscriber, thanks for being a subscriber. That supports the channel greatly. If you're not yet a subscriber, check out a few more of my videos. If you like what you see, smash down that subscriber button and I'll see you all next time.